Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Welcome to the Close to My Heart blog hop. We are so glad you could join us today. There are 10 of us in this blog hop and we're all using products from Close to My Heart. And I decided to make four of these little 3x3 three three note cards. I'm going to use these to tuck into my husband's pocket when he goes to work. You could put these in a lunch box. You could put them in somebody's computer bag as they're going out the door or their suitcase. It's just a quick little way to tell somebody that you're thinking about them and, you know, make them feel kind of special. So what I used on the background of these little cards is a set of background stamps from close to my heart and this is D1477 Universal Backgrounds Flare. I love these and I hope I'm going to be able to show them to you without too much of a glare. There's four of them on here. This one is script. This one is music. Down here we have one that looks like wooden planks with uh, nails in them and this one kind of looks like burlap. Well, I've used these two today on my little cards, and I've used different color ink. So you can see on this one with the cookie, I've used red, and this was uh, Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress uh, Fired Brick. And I thought it was really cute behind that cookie, but can you see how nicely that stamped? I love that. On this one, I used that same burlap style background and I use Tim Holtz uh, peeled paint. This one is that same background and I use the tea dye distress ink on this one. And then I used the stamp that looks like the wooden planks behind Mr. Peanut here. And I used uh, Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink on this one. And these were so easy to make. Uh, for my sentiments this one with the little cookie. Now these uh, little images came from Paper Piecing by Nikki. I cut these out with my silhouette, but I'm going to tell you, my sweet Cricut friends, where you can find very similar images in Cricut cartridges. So don't get mad at me for using the silhouette, okay? <laughs> I still use my Cricut. But I wanted to do something really quick. So... This cute little chocolate chip cookie, as I said, came from Paper Piecings by Nikki. And inside, I've stamped, you're the chocolate chips in my cookie. And that sentiment came from the new Cards TV set, Foodie Punnies. There that is, right there. Love the face on that one. Okay, and then this one, this is also from Paper Piecings by Nikki, and I've stamped Sweetie Pie on the front, and inside is Sweet on You, and that sentiment is from the Cards TV Sweet Talk set. There's Sweetie Pie, and here's Sweet on You. And then this cute little lemon is also from Paper Piecings by Nikki, and I've got Pucker Up. And you're my main squeeze. And this came from the Cards TV Garden Greeting Set. There's Pucker Up and you're my main squeeze. I love these. I can't wait to give them to my husband. I think he's going to get quite a chuckle out of them. I am crazy about this peanut. This is also from Paper Piecing by Nikki. And this one, I haven't done anything on the inside. But on the front, I've got I'm Nutty for You. Love that. And I've added three little brown buttons over here. And like I said, this is the stamp that looks like the wooden plank. And this sentiment is from Cards TV Critter Captions right there. I'm nutty for you. It didn't take me any time at all to make these. I have tons of these white scraps that I just cut three inches by six inches. I score them at three inches, fold them in half. And I stamped my backgrounds on and cut these out, put them on there. There you go. I've got them all popped up on some foam tape. But these are going to be so much fun just to stick one in his pocket when he's going out the door, when I'm giving him a hug, and then he'll find it later. I think he'll really get a kick out of it. 
Now, let me tell you where you can find similar images in the Cricut cartridges. For your chocolate chip cookie, you can find a chocolate chip cookie in Sweet Shop, but you can also find one in uh, From My Kitchen, if you have either one of those. For the cherry pie, you can find that in the Sweetly or Simply Charmed cartridge. There's a cherry pie in here. There's also a lemon in here with the little face. So that's Simply Charmed. And at the end of the video, I will uh, give you dimensions for these, but I'll tell you what page that you can find these cuts on in your Cricut cartridges. So Simply Charmed for your cherry pie and your lemon. And for the peanut, there is a cute little peanut with a face and a top hat in Create a Critter. So there you go, guys. You can make these even if you don't have a silhouette. Super simple, super quick, and so much fun. And I loved having those background stamps, like I said. Now, guys, don't miss anybody in this hop. You might find some blog candy along the way. But I'm giving some blog candy today. If you're a follower of Cards TV, just leave me a comment. And I'll use random.org to pick a winner on Tuesday, and that winner will get us uh, two sets of Cards TV stamps. So, don't miss anybody, guys. Thank you so much for coming by today. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you're having fun, too. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.